Five is Breton Gonzalez. On the 57 is Weston Withington. On the 65 is Cannon Bow. Brody Lee on the 67. On the 69, we got Chase Nakawaga. And on the 72, we got Kaysen Bentoncourt. But I believe the gate is down and they are off. It looks like it's going to be the number 75, I do believe. That is going to be Dax Hyatt. Yep, that is Dax Hyatt on his Cobra on the number 75 with the hole shot. We'll see if he is able to gain the early lead here in this one. And it looks like it's going to be the number 17 going into the Ten Commandments first. That is going to be Braxton Garther. All right, as they make their way through the Ten Commandments, it looked like the number 16 was hanging in there as well. That is you men of burning. And Zach's going to hop in here with me on this one. Zach, we are in the micro two class here, the four to six limited. And that's one of my favorite classes there, Jackson. So micro two out on track. We saw micro one just a few minutes ago. We got a battle on screen right now. Already we're still on lap number one. And these guys are going at it. Four riders all on the same turn here in micro two. All right, and it looks like we got a battle for the lead. As they go in, I see the number seven working his way. Well, I must have saw wrong. Oh, big, oh, big crash. And over in there for your leader. And uh, it looks to be okay. Already seen him picking the bike back up, but that was a big one. Uh, it looked like one of those braking bumps just kind of kicked him a little harder than he was expecting. These smaller bikes, uh, they get thrown forward. At the number 16, he almost goes over, coming in hot there into that sand section up and over the Rocky Mountain. That is Edwin Meyer there on the number 16. And I was right, that is the number seven of Cameron Buckman there in that second spot. You know, I remember oh. looking at this class of practice yesterday, and it still just looks like a sea of Cobras. And I just love to really see that out there. Yeah, no doubt about it. Cobra has a long history here in the micro classes as they make their way around the Poly Sport Pond Sweeper. And over into the finish, they are going to get the green flag this time around. And taking a look back on screen, it is still Edwin Meyer on the number 16. Heading back down the start. Cameron Buckman sitting in second there on that number seven Cobra. Looks like Dax did not lose much of a placement right there. So in first place, we have Edwin Meyer on the number 16. In second, we have Cameron Buckman on this number seven. In third, we have number 96, Jackson Castro. In fourth, we have Dylan Chipman on the 38. In fifth, we have number 55, Breton Gonzalez. In sixth, we have number 23, Barrett Counts. In seventh, we have number 17, Wells Richardson. In eighth, we have Jeffrey Sathoff on the number 93. In ninth, we have number 50, Bodie Bowerson. And rounding out our top 10, we have number 51, Grayson Hood. All right, and they made their way through the Ten Commandments. Now they are headed towards Storyland, and we still have a battle on our hands here. Just a couple bike links set, separating the number 16 and the number 7 there. You know, we were talking about those micro E's in that last class, just really sending it. But, you know, these bikes, these, they may not have as much power, but they are still sending it on some of these jumps. Yeah, but there's no doubt about it. Between the micro one, two, and three, you'll see them speed up in each class as they get a little older, get on a little bigger, more advanced machine. You'll see the pace pick up there in the micro three. These will be, these micro two guys next year, maybe the year following, will be up into that micro three class. And you'll see them completely airing out these jumps as we'll see micro three here doing just after this race. And here comes your leader making his way around the Rocky Mountain over into the tabletop now. 
And skying it out, coming into this Polysport Pond Sweeper there for the number 16. And Blake, it looks like the number seven is holding in there. Just a few bike lanes separating our top two here. Oh yeah, for sure. We definitely could have a really good battle within these next couple minutes. So let's see if Cameron Buckner cannot just catch him and really just beat this class. And Blake, it shows how advanced Edwin Meyer and Cameron Buckman are as you see them making a big gap there between them, themselves, and the number 96 of Jas Jackson Castro. And there they come now. There comes Jackson and the rest of the gang. Dylan Chipman sitting in fourth place. In fifth, we got Breton Gonzalez. And as you can see, the lap time slowing down quite a bit here in this one compared to Micro 1. Last time around, our leader, Edwin Meyer, with a 245.9. Cameron Bugman with a 247.3. And then Jackson Castro, our third place rider, with a 255.9. And right behind Jackson is Breton in fourth, running a 255 as well. So he's not far behind him. So we might have a battle on our hands for third. And it looks like we got a battle for the lead coming through the Ten Commandments here. Looks like Cameron Buckman is taking the inside. Looks like he might have Edwin Meyer just right here in this last, uh, one of these last corners. And he did it coming into Storyland. All right, so Cameron Buckman on the number seven Cobra is your new leader. Edwin Meyer moving down into that second place position, having a little bobble right after the turn where he got passed. Able to hang it in there though, he is still holding strong in that second place position there on the number 16 machine. Looks like Cameron Buckman really starting to open up a gap on Edwin Meyer. Let's see if he can't really just get a big old gap on him. And somebody going down over there in the sand section. We'll see who that, we'll let you know who that is as soon as we get our eyes on them. And here comes the number seven jumping his way here into this polysport pond sand sweeper. And he is still gonna be followed by the number 16 as they make their way into the finish line here. So we are about halfway through this one. As you see the number seven of Cameron Buckman on the screen, making his way past the wall of fame. He's still gonna be closely followed by the number 16 of Edwin Meyer. Looks like he's got just about a two second gap on Edwin right here. So Edwin is still in for this race. Jackson Castro on the number 96, still sitting in that third spot. Up, oh, it looks like we've had a pass there for third. Bretton Gonzalez sitting in third place on the number 55. So Jackson Castro gonna move down to that four spot on the number 96. And then the number 23 of Barrett Count still gonna hold on to that fifth place position as we get to the completion of lap number three. As the number seven makes his way through the Ten Commandments, I see the number 16 making his way through as well, shaking his head. So guys, he must not be happy with that pass there. He still isn't down for the count though. He could Cameron still could get into some traffic, uh, some lap traffic. So let's see if he can't catch him. Yeah, lap traffic gonna come into play here in this micro two, no doubt about it. We've already saw some here in the last few laps, but anything can happen here in these micro classes. 
as well as any class here at Loretta Lynn's. Anything is possible, anything can happen. As we see more riders down in the sand, the number seven of Cameron Buckman making his way through there, trying to get over to the Rocky Mountain. Looks like so far Cameron really hasn't had any bad luck with this lap traffic. So let's see if he just can't keep this up. And look at that at number seven of Cameron Buckman. Airing it out as he makes his way across the tabletop. Now he is in the Polysport Pond Sweeper. Making his way around some down lap, lap traffic. Looks like Edwin Meyer still holding it pinned through this section right here. And I believe the two card is out for this one. So that means they'll get the white flag next time around. So once again, number seven of Cameron Buckman out front. Edwin Meyer on the number 16 machine sitting in second. Bretton Gonzalez in the third spot there. In fourth, we got Jackson Castro and Barry Counts going to round out our top five. It looks like Cameron Buckman is giving himself a 10 second lead. Yeah, so a 10 second lead there, like you're saying, for Buckman. Able to make his way up through the pack a little bit there on the first couple laps, and now he finds himself in the lead. Coming into the Ten Commandments, here comes your leader, Cameron Buckman, with Edwin Meyer just a couple seconds behind him. With Barrett Counts, not very far behind. Blake, give us a little rundown of our top 15 here in this one. I know I gave the top five just a second ago. Who we got six through 15? Looks like coming in six places, Bretton Gonzalez, number seven, the 38 of Dylan Chipman. Coming in at eighth place, number 17, Wells Richardson. Ninth, Mickey Fluhart. Tenth, Jeffrey Satoff. Looks like Graham Ferguson just made the pass for, number, for 11th place. With, put, that would put Talon Smith in the 12th. Garrison Hood coming in at 13th, 14th, Carson Freeman. And rounding out your top 15, it was Carson, uh, Luke Witt. But it looks like he has passed Carson Freeman. So let's see if he can't get this. All right, and taking a look there, the number... 12 machine of Boone Lloyd, who's sitting in fourth place here in this one. He is your last year's champion in Micro 1, 4 to 6 shaft drive. So now he has moved up here to this Micro 2 class and looking good. Just one spot away from a podium here in his first moto. And guys, don't forget, we have all kinds of stuff for you planned out here on this fine Tuesday evening at 6.30 p.m. We have the RM Army HEP Motorsports Dinner open to all Suzuki racers and family. HEP Suzuki Pits is where that'll be held. And then at 7.30, we got two activities going on. Of course, the annual AMA Organizer Appreciation Reception there at the Loretta Lens Plantation Home. And the Stasic Jam Fest, non-racers only, will be at the Stasic Pump Track at 7.30 p.m. as well, so you won't want to miss that get the little guys out there on the Stasic, and then it won't be long until you'll be here in this Micro 2 class as well. Looks like the white flag is out right now. So it looks like next time around, Cameron Buckman should have the checkered flag. So one more to go here for our Micro 2 class here in moto number one. And
as we see the number seven on screen making his way into the story land. He is followed by the number 16 of Edwin Meyer. Following him is going to be the number 23 of Barry Counts. And some big gaps here separating our top three. Cameron Bugman has about an 18 second lead there on Edwin Meyer. And then following that will be about 33 seconds until we get to Barry Counts there on the number 23 machine. So quite a spread out race here in this Micro 2 Moto 1. As the number seven makes his way around one more time through the Rocky Mountain sand section. And here he goes up and over the Rocky Mountain. He's got to make one more run here through the Poly Sport Pond Sweeper. And he will beat your Moto One winner. We'll see if he is able to hang on to it here for just a few more turns. Here he comes running this Poly Sport Pond Sweeper. So, one last turn, and Cameron Buckman will be your Moto winner. All right, and as we make our way around here to the finish line, it is going to be the number seven of Cameron Buckman. Going to take the win here in Moto number one of the Micro 2 4 to 6 Limited on his Cobra machine. So shout out to Cameron Buckman getting it done here in this one. As we wait for Edwin Meyer and Barry Counts to make their way around Boone Lloyd. We'll see if anything has changed there between Barry and Boone. And there comes the number 16 now, that is Edwin Meyer. He is going to hold on to that second place here in Moto number one of Micro 2. As we wait for our third fin place finisher to come across the checkered flag. And the number 23 of Barry Count's going to hang on to that last podium position. The number 12 of Boone Lloyd making his way around in fourth as well. And that's going to do it here for Moto 1 of Micro 2, 4 to 6 Limited. Thanks, Jackson. We'll take it here on the podium. Let's hear it for a great run in the number seven. When you bring single digits into a 4 to 6 class, you know you're fast. Let's hear it for Cameron Buckman. And I'll give you the gold here. You got to be pumped on your riding, Cameron. How was that moto? Good. I just kept my pace and pushed. Oh, yeah. Do you get tired at all? A little bit. All right. All right. Who do you want to thank, Cameron? My mom, my dad, Minton, FX Racing, PR2, um, 60 Helmets, Mika Medals, Everybody else, thanks. All right, let's hear it for your gold medalist. Great job by Cameron Buckman to take that win. So let's take a few more photos. Second place will bring him on up. That's Edwin. Thanks, Cameron. Let me hand out the silver. Come around front here. It's here for Edwin Meyer. Edwin, Edwin, tell me about your uh, moto there. How'd it go? Really good. Yeah, you happy? Yeah. You ever got a podium medal at Loretta's before? No. Oh, yeah, awesome. You got to tell everybody about this when you go back to school. Who do you want to thank? My mom and dad, Game Moto, um, Gibbs, and Minton, and Top Shop, 
my um, mechanic Nick, Greg, Giancarlo, and everyone for cheering me on. All right, let's hear it. Cheer him on, Edwin Meyer. Nice job. You can go chill out if you want. His day is done after a great run for a podium. Looking for Barrett Counts, who uh, ended up third. Oh, Barrett's pumped. Let's get up here, Barrett. Love it, man. Come on over here, Barrett. Great job. Ran up on stage. Four to six class. They got kid energy. Come on right down here to the center. Looks nice in the fo photos. All right, Barrett, tell me about your moto. Uh, I got a bad gate pick. Last gate out. Came around the outside wide. Yeah. All right. Who do you want to thank? Jesus, my mom, my dad, FXR, FMF, Sandbox, um, Minton, and everyone else. Let's hear it for Barrett Counts taking third. All right, Barrett. Congrats to you. Uh, you can go hang out. I do have to give out a whole shot award here for uh, Stasic hands out $100 in every class, but this is a class of riders that actually probably still ride Stasic, so they want the $100 more than anyone else. Looking for uh, Dax Hyatt, who would be our whole shot winner. 100 bucks from Stasic. Let's hear it for Dax Hyatt. Hold that up. Oh, he's pumped. Oh, they'll put that money to use on a Stasic in the four to six class. How'd you get that start, Dax? Uh, I just had enough energy to do the start because I was just swimming in the creek all day. Oh, you were swimming in the creek all day and you're not tired? No. All right. Who do you want to thank, Dax? Thank my mom, dad, 7 Max, Dirt Lab Coaching, SSR, Gibbs Moto, and that's it. All right. Let's hear it for Dax Hyatt with your whole shot award. All right. 